What's up everyone and welcome to another awesome episode of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays. My name is Parva and I invite you to take some time out of your busy schedule to check out some sick plays submitted by fellow players just like yourself. Coming in at our number 5 play for this week is Vert on Vladimir and he's in the enemy jungle when he catches the enemy cannon and picks him off but then all of a sudden Nautilus comes out of nowhere so he decides to fight it out. Remember he doesn't have vision on Ash coming around so he thinks he easily has this 1v1 and then the Ash arrow comes in he drops to almost no health but pulls out the clutch Zanyas just like I did and then he goes straight into a blood pool as Leona comes in with an ultimate for the double stun and Vlad walks away as he ease for the 3 for 0 exchange. Scoring in at 4th place for this week is Celestine on Riven, and at the start of this play she pops her ultimate as the Ash Arrow stops Sona from crescendoing her, which buys just enough time to ult and steal Baron. Immediately after they all jump on her, but she lands a great stun and then dashes away and queues, utilizing Riven's high mobility to get out of there as her team comes in close behind and cleans up shop, picking up the 3 kills and then chasing down Skarner on the tower for the ace. Coming in at third place is VQWQV on Katarina. And at the start, we see Swain and Heimerdinger close behind as she makes her way towards the brush, and Swain just barely misses the root. She enters the brush and then dodges the grenade and starts her ultimate, dealing heavy damage to both players, and then shampooing to Heimer for the kill, and then shampooing and queuing to Swain and killing him for the double. She instantly starts running the Nash flashes, but she shampoos just out of range as they turn the fight back on Nash with the Soraka heal, and they chase her down for the 3 for 0 exchange. Well played. Landing in at second place is Frost Gun on Vayne, and at the start of this play we see her team gets contested at Dragon as GP's ult locks her in there and the enemy team funnels in from all sides. Morgana comes in and with nowhere to go she flashes out of range of the ult and away from the enemy players but is taken completely out of the fight. By the time she gets back it's a 3v5 but she decides to go for it anyways, popping final hour and choosing to get a Morgana first, bringing her down then switching to the enemy Vayne for the double, tumbling back and finishing off what's left the Nuna for the triple, and then getting on the last carry and popping heal but GP looks like he's still going to win the battle but right before he gets the killing blow she tumbles away and picks up the quad right after, followed by the Penta from Janna. Great teamwork, target choice, and tumbles get this fan the 2v5 pentakill despite going up against a more fed enemy team. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Missile spelled with a 3 on Lux, and our team is waiting patiently in the brush trying to catch someone and take a lead in this close game. All of a sudden, the entire enemy team comes walking by, and her whole team initiates as Lux gets a kill, and Galio starts his all holding them all in place as she lasers for the instant pentakill. Restart, watch, cry, and repeat. And for the bonus cup of the week, we have Raptor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on Janna with an epic steal and an even more epic fail to follow. As the code plays, I just wanted to remind everyone to head over to Retainer Monster Daily, our new YouTube channel. Coming up very soon, the link's down below, and to subscribe because we're going to start releasing videos on there very soon. If you missed out on what content will be in this new channel, then check out the very end of week 77 for more information on that. And also as a bonus, if you subscribe before the first video goes out on the new channel, you can be one of two lucky subscribers on that channel to win a Razer bundle complete with headset, mouse, and keyboard. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you back here for week 80 of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays.